All right, by the signs you can tell, Ikea over here. Detobs, where are you at? We gotta get these Detobs. All right, so that's Bounty Hunter Toys. Major Wrestling Figure Podcast told me about this spot. All right, Bounty Toys. Check this out. That's Santa's Village, Misfit Toys. Stages. Check that out. Street Sharks, here we go. It's nice. What do we got here? Oh no, I'm just about to have it. Yeah, I love him. Hey, there's a wuzzle in box. Oh my god. Dude, this is crazy. Look at all these cabbage patch kids. Oh, look at all of them box too. Oh. Akusa, right? Yeah. How much is that guy? I have no idea. Fisher <sighs> Price stuff. I had a red hair public. Here in the Bounty Honey Toys. This is amazing. <gasps> oh, I used to play that exact same thing. Oh, right hey, there's the house. Right there. You ding the thing and it goes ding. First issue, first print, I should say, Killing Joke. Check it out, Biker Mice from Mars. This is place is sick. <gasps> All right, I just picked out a bunch of food fighters. Good prices. Check it out. What we got here turtles. Krang, it looks like 40. Huh. Searching bananas. Machines down here. A little hard to see from the reflective glass, but I think what we can. Oh. Starcom. Batman stuff. I'm just wondering about the stuffy back here. 66 away. Oh, it's okay. What's the Christmas? <laughs> Holy man. It's Magic Kingdom. Okay. <laughs> he's not he's not getting one, but you good? Yeah, it's better close. Room for one. There's two of you in the studio. I can see wait. Okay. Oh my god. Increase. Look at this guy. Oh, that's awesome. Did you get that Rainbow Bright refrigerator thing? <laughs> like I said, we've been on a lot of things this past year. Uh, yeah, he's been doing like a thing where he buys toys and like sometimes unboxes them and you know what I mean? Hmm? How come we never put the owners of the shops in? Uh. Once in a while. He wants all the attention for himself. <laughs> Be 
could advertise from our YouTube channel. You could be like, well, I was going to say, what makes your channel different than everyone else that does this? Is there anything unique with yours, or? No, just all the same. He does not. Then little. here's a suggestion. Maybe, no, maybe not with me. Um, it's a little different, though. It yeah. is different because he doesn't just do toys. He does anything vintage plus vinyl. Oh, sweet. So, like, clothing and everything. That's awesome. Not so much clothing, I would say. Well, I put say. these mod robes on there. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, but oh, like yeah. it's <laughs> like vintage stuff. Yeah. Right. Um, and like vinyl too. He'll do like a lot of vinyl. Like there's a vinyl. customer of mine that started. Uh, well, he's he kind of stopped. But his work literally sends him across the country every month. So every two weeks he goes somewhere. Yeah. So he's been going to college. How are you? Great. <laughs> Here at the Toy Corner, we're back. Got some big updates gonna happen. I know it's been slow, been real busy. But you know what, I'm real excited. I got two Detolfs from Ikea. As you've seen, we're outside, baby. Holy moly. And you know what? Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Introduce me to this place. Bounty Hunter Toys. Let's check out what we found. Hey, how are you doing? Ah, name's Wrinkles. Little hand puppet, Wrinkles the dog. My girlfriend had this as a kid, I guess. A real young one. I had to get it. Hand puppet action. I've been loving hand puppets lately. Boglins, My Pet Monsters, anything. I was so excited to be in this store. So much goodness. Walk in, tons of wrestling stuff. Seen so many good figs that I wanted. But you know what? Could only get so much, right? I got a pretty good bag full. I got a few Christmas gifts. We'll do the Christmas gifts first, since these are gonna get wrapped up and put under the tree and I won't see until then. All right. Ah, this is awesome. Check it out. We got first off 18 bucks. My man, the ice cream. Food Fighters. These are rubber toys. Now, y'all know I probably have two in the back there. If y'all seen them before. If not, we'll take a peek at them real quick. Now, whenever you see these figs here in Canada, they can be super pricey. This one came with the card. It's got a French card. So I got this. Hamburger General, whatever. I haven't really looked up too much at the information on this. 20 bucks for a card and this guy. Great deal. I'm just so enamored and shocked by all these great pickups and purchases. And then we got the, the pizza. 30 bucks on this guy, complete. You got the card, you got the backpack, the gun. So crazy. So this is what we be of the Food Fighter collection. Got one bad guy. Mean Weenie, and four good guys here. Now they also had this chicken leg at the uh, Bounty Hunter there, but uh, I already have them. Got the ice cream, hamburger, and the pizza. What's on your plate tonight? All right, next figure. Happy to get this guy. I've seen him? Real Ghostbuster, baby. Throw a Ghostbuster in there. You may know. Got this one already. Had this on in the collection. I found this at a flea market here in Sarnia, just in a random tote. 
I've always had them kind of just displayed like this. Um, but you know what? I had to get another one. One of my favorites. Ten bucks. Can't go wrong. So yeah. And his eyes pop out. Pretty sweet. Love it. Some stuff I've also been collecting, as you know. Some Dukes of Hazard figs. Pretty much 20 a piece. Each fig, 40 the set. These can be rare, hard to find. Stiff joints on these mothers, too. Happy to open these guys up. Duke, Duke, and Boo, Duke. Pretty rad. We'll see them in my old general upstairs in a minute. Well, what do we have here? It's Cooter Davenport breaking down on the general. Look at that motor. Let her rev, Bo. Hey, Luke. Uncle Jesse and Daisy are not far behind. But what is Boss Hog and Roscoe scheming up now? Well, I'll be darn them darn Duke boys, Roscoe. We gotta put them in jail. All right, last three things for the turtle fans, the turtle lovers. There's a replacement piece. I originally had this figure from when I was a kid. My cousin Logan Simpson he ended up gifting me this. He was a bit older and he must have had a bunch of turtles, but barely remember it as a kid. I remember just him kind of giving it to me. One of the pieces was broken off, but I didn't care. It's a sweet figure. I do the pop. And yeah, fortunately he passed away, but it's one of my always, something I'm going to cherish the memory with him. I couldn't believe all the TMNT figs they had. They had a Technodrome there. They had some really good prices. At 18 on this near complete uh, chrome dome here. Let's open the bag and check them out. I haven't even done it yet. Uh, I used to have one of these. I picked them up at the flea market, but this one is in way better condition. Mine was loose. This is really stiff joint action. I'm stoked. This is great. We'll check it out how he's all put together in a minute. I got a killer robotic sigh. And here's that chrome dome all decked out. I got these back pieces you clip on too. If you're not careful, you would lose those as a kid so fast. Beautiful fig, chrome dome. Another one I've never had in the collection. But I decided to get it 20 bucks. Comes with two of his accessories and his cape and the helmet. Space Usagi. Love it. Two guns here. Beautiful. It's a killer space rabbit. Crazy figure right here. I'll just put that like that. Beautiful. Space Usagi. Yeah, this is a pretty rad figure. I've never held one of these. Never owned one of these figures. I was always a big Usagi Yojimbo fan back in the day. One of my favorite figures was Usagi Yojimbo back then. But yeah. Gotta love them. Turtle fans, unite. Well, check out 
bounty hunter toys if you ever get into the Hamilton region. You will not be disappointed. Alright my friends, stay dazed, stay confused. Adios. Peace.